Nobody ordered this, ma'am. You ordered this when you asked me to be a part of this. True, I did. Hey guys, I'm Amber. I'm Lauren. And this, uh, welcome to our channel. This is our first official video. Um, today we're gonna show you how we got our looks uh, with all our goofiness entailed. I'm also gonna be featuring the TARDIS Pro palette that just came out. Um, and this is also a collaboration video with my friend Miranda. Her channel will be linked below. Her look is awesome, so please check it out. I hope you guys like it. Have a great day. Ha, ha, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> okay, on with the tutorial. Okay. What does one say when they're filming their first YouTube video? Alright, so what do you start with? Well, I usually start with brows. I go with white. Just removing the excess dirt. Well, I was still a white too. Clearly, I do not know what I'm thinking. Y'all here for her. That's what y'all here for. Because <laughs> if you came here to see a makeup tutorial, you ain't here to see me. <laughs> you can't be telling people that, bro. I'm just being honest. I'm just going to use a serum. I'm going to use a different thing to moisturize. My Nivea Sensitive Skin Shave Balm. This is what it looks like, y'all. It's in a glass bottle. Oh. CBS. I use the Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. So it's kind of like a serum. And then I go over it with my Mario Badescu um, facial spray, the one that with the rose and herbs and stuff. And then now that I did that, I'm gonna go and do my brows. So what are you using to do brows? Um, I'm going to be using the um, NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. Um, with these, you do have to be a little bit careful. If you're in the darker tones, you may find that the the espresso shades of all of the NYX products come out a little bit gray on you. For people like me who are high yellow, this will be just fine. <laughs> I use espresso, I'm gonna be pretty okay with that. Um, today I'm gonna be using the Precisely My Brow from Benefit and then um, the Anastasia Dip Brow and Ebony. Those are my two favorite things for my brows. I can't get it open. Mom, mom. Thank you. <laughs> Nut. <laughs> I like that stuff on my face. Hmm? What stuff on your face? Oh, it's pressed. Oh, because I'm nasty. <laughs> I bet oh, you is, jealous. girl. I bet you is. You're not going to talk about that. These people don't need to know what I do in my <laughs> personal life. Ain't none of your freaking business. Y'all don't need to know. Mm. Okay, my wings were so good earlier. I want some Cajun wings. No, you don't even like spicy stuff. How spicy is it? Moderately spicy. I could do moderately spicy. I douse everything in black pepper. Okay, you might be able to do it then. I eat Cajun fries from Five Guys. Okay, you possibly could do it then. I, I just love chicken. chicken, okay? Okay. All right, and so then I take the spoolie end of the little pencil here and I brush through my brows with the um, pencil product first. The directions your hair go in, basically. Y'all will notice that I'm a little bit slow. Not like mentally, but... Okay, so maybe a little mentally. Right. But, I mean, I work slow. <laughs> you graduated college, bro. You're not slow. <laughs> You're not slow. There's a lot of uh, mentally restrained people who have graduated college. I don't know what you're talking about. If you want a more natural looking brow, you can stop at this step with the pencil. Um, mm -hmm. However, we extra over here, so um, always, so uh, always extra. We're gonna do this pomade. Extra, extra. <laughs> like that, like that stupid news show that nobody watches anymore. I'm mad I didn't wash my brushes. <laughs> I'm so mad how you wash Yo, brushes. don't follow our example. We always be working with dirty brushes. You need to wash your brushes. Wash your brushes. Don't. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. A little of a pomade goes a long way. And I'm a little gentler with blending this one this time than I was when blending the pencil earlier. 
Fam. What did you forget? Now, see, you sat up here and rolled. Damn, I left my ratchet concealer upstairs. I can't function without it. Which ratchet concealer? The LA girl? No, 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 no. It's the one that like fell out the palette, so I have to keep it in my little Tupperware thing. <laughs> I can't function without it. <laughs> yes, girl. I can. Give me your, give me your NYX. I can function. Without okay. There we go. Improvise. Improvise. You rolled me this entire time talking about, are you sure you got everything you need? I definitely did though. I'm As sorry. we proceed, I don't have to give you what you need. I don't, I just don't physically, mentally, emotionally have time for you. But I love you mm -hmm. and I always will. Mm -hmm. And I would hope that your love for me is unconditional as well. See, I told you I work slow. She didn't already moved on concealer. I'm still messing around with my brows. I'm gonna use a flat brush to put on some um, eye primer. I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in the nude color that's uh, ESB03. All right, so as for me, I personally don't use actual eyeshadow primers um, unless it, like my look warrants for it. Um, what I basically do, I just use the same concealer I use to define my brows and blend it down to my eyelid, and then I'll take a powder and just set that concealer. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start my eyeshadow look. I'm gonna do a Halo Smoky, and I am going to be featuring the new TARDIS Pro palette. Um, and this video is also in collaboration with my friend Miranda. Uh, her channel will be linked below, so you guys can check her out. Please check, check her out. Look. She's see awesome. her look on this um, palette as well. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be using um, basically all the purple shades and uh, this metallic green color here. So yeah. We gonna see how this turn out though, cause I ain't practiced this. So do you usually do your transition shade first or? Yeah, I usually work like in a downward kind of uh, motion. So I start with my neutral colors first, just to have a base and show everything that's gradient. Um, mm -hmm. Even if I'm working with louder colors, mm -hmm. you always wanna start with something that'll help you have some gradients between your eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. So um, actually, I'm gonna start with this color up at the top called Innocent right here. I'm gonna run that in my crease. I usually like to start with my transition shade as well. So I'm gonna be pulling that color from the Morphe palette. And I'm gonna start with this kind of like mocha-y, like light tan kind of shade down here. So next, I'm going to take this color here, this really pretty color, it's called the Filter. That's so pretty, I love this color. Same brush, it's gonna run into my crease as well. I got all these busters in my inbox, I don't ever have nothing amazing, like, I'm gonna treat you like a queen, girl. And if they do, they like 55 years old. Man, get them cat daddies out of here, man. You trying to play this school tuition though? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> now I'm just taking a bigger um, blending brush and just kind of buffing that color out a little bit more. So I'm gonna take next this um, like darkish brown, orange, like burnt orange and I'm just gonna go over top of what I just did to kind of give it a nice tint and next after that color um what's it called no filter I'm gonna take the color mod right below it and drama and mix the two together and um, work that in the outer portion of my crease and I'm using a um e230 brush from Mikasa Take my other blending brush. Uh, this is a E300 from Mikasa Beauty, and I'm just gonna blend this out. And then I'm gonna take those same two colors that I mixed together earlier and place them on that inner corner as well. I'm gonna take that same blending brush that I just had here, and I'm gonna pick up this lighter tan shade here and kind of work up to my brow. I'm just taking a fluffier blending brush and just kind of working over those edges, buffing them out so they don't look as harsh. Alright, so I'm going to take a black base. I'm just using my next Jumbo Pencil and Black Bean. I'm going to place that in the center where I want my halo color to be. Alright, so I'm using this darkest shade red down here in the 88 color palette by BH Cosmetics. And that's going to go 
um, on the middle of my lid, kind of headed towards the outer, but mostly concentrated in the middle. And I'm just gonna take that, um, that really pretty color down here called Trendy. It's like a metallic um, green kind of shadow or whatever. I'm just gonna take it on a flat shader brush and just put it in the center where I lay that black base. <laughs> I'm taking this like orangey peachy color that's like the third color down in this palette. Oh geez. Sometimes I have trouble lifting palettes. This one right here and it's gonna go on my inner corner. Okay. I'm, I feel really dumb because like when I'm talking I'm like looking at our viewfinder and not the actual lens of the camera so I look like I'm just looking up all the time. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I've been mm -hmm. doing the same thing though. <laughs> so, and I ain't got my glasses on, so like, I really can't see nothing. Low key, like, I'm blind. Oh my god. Anyways, so, um, I just applied that green color in the center. I took um, the same brush I was using to apply Mod and Drama, and I didn't add any additional shadow. I placed this on the edges of where I applied that green. Now I'm going to blend it out with the blank, the big, um, fluffy blending brush. And this is from BH Cosmetics. I can't remember it, what the number was, but the it was the BH Cosmetics blending brush. So I'm just going to take that color Vamp that's right here, and I'm going to place that on my inner and my outer corner. I'm gonna place that on my inner and my outer corner where I applied those other two colors earlier. The outer limits of your eyeballs. Bro, this palette smells amazing. It smells like cupcakes. It does. I want it so bad. It smells so good. Like, honestly, I was so surprised that this had a scent. Like, cause Tarte palettes usually don't have a scent. Like, usually Too Faced palettes do. So, I, like, kudos to you, Tarte. If y'all ever see this, Thank you for making the scented. I love scented eyeshadows. Like they make the makeup application process so much easier and tranquil and just beautiful. Like I love it. I love when my makeup smells like something and not just makeup. So I'm just gonna line my uh, my top lash line. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing liner. I'm just gonna have somewhere to place my lashes. I'm gonna use the um, Nubian Two palette from Juvia's Place, and I am going to take. Um, the shade here, it's called Nefertiti. It's like an orangish kind of shade here. That's super pretty. I'm gonna take it on a um, big fluffy blender brush and I'm just kind of gonna run this um, as a weird like transition shade. It's kind of a little out of place, but I like to do and stuff that's a little out of place sometimes. I'm gonna take an angled liner brush and my um, L'Oreal Lacquer Liner 24 Infallible. Um, and this is in black is black. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> right, don't don't get it all in your larynx. Is your larynx in your throat? I don't know. Anatomy people, help me out here. Is your larynx in your throat? Has it been many years since I've taken anatomy so I can help you out? I've never been good at the sciences. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. But shall ye ask me to scribe? Girl, you're not about to do that. <laughs> That's not what we about to do. Y'all ain't about to know that I'm stupid. Y'all ain't about to know. <laughs> Amber's not stupid. All right, so I'm just gonna take this Clinique Super Primer. This is a trial size. I do my makeup best like to ratchet music. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can give you some ratchet music. Ratchet. Ratchet music. I was talking about Gucci. Gucci. Gucci song, y'all. Gucci. I don't know nothing about no Gucci man. As y'all will find out by watching more videos, I, I'm a nerd. So I like Korean pop music <laughs> and anime. <laughs> I don't know nothing about no Gucci man. That's not my lane. That's her lane. But. I will bump some Cardi B. That's about as ratchet as I get. And honestly, I feel like that's a high level of ratchet. I love Cardi B. She can glow up a little bit. She got a sister named Hennessy. That's rough. What you mean? 
Alcoholic. <laughs> what do you think Cardi stand for? But Cardi. Bacardi and Hennessy. Don't fact check us, y'all. I think it's true. I'm gonna use the NYX um, Conceal Correct Contour Palette. I'm gonna use this orange shade down here. That's color correcting, y'all. Color correcting. And it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Um, I enjoy it. And I'm just gonna use this Duo Fiber Brush from um, Mikasa. This is their F200 brush to blend this all out. But before I do that, I'm going to take my NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. I'm just gonna spray my face just so it gives my foundation something to like move with a little bit first before it sets. <laughs> I'm using the um, L'Oreal Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in a shade 330 Toffee. Um, L'Oreal. I'm sorry, I lied. Maybelline Fit Me, I listen, if I didn't have her, I would be lying to y'all all the time. I just didn't want y'all to be misinformed. I'm not credible. You are credible. <laughs> credible and incredible. Oh. I'm gonna use this amazing um, uh, beauty blender that Amber gave me from Miss A. This thing is a dollar and it feels like silk, okay? I am extra and I like a lot of coverage, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my Maybelline Matte Poreless um, in the shade 340 Cappuccino. I'm just gonna dial a little bit of of this along my face and use my same beauty blender and well wonder blender whatever they call it and just blend this out i've just discovered the dabbing motion so oh god it's um <laughs> it's way more effective than rubbing it so i'm just going to conceal and highlight and for that i'm going to use my kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer in the shade um sx11 i don't have no fancy patterns like the rest of y'all do with y'all concealers and whatnot. I, I just. <laughs> I don't, I don't have fancy patterns. I just put it in the areas I wanna highlight. Yeah. Now that I've discovered this new $1 beauty blender that Amber gave me, like I'm never going back. I'm never going back. I have never liked to. Stop. Well, guess whose paycheck is about to go to straight to Miss A. All right, we gonna be all right. Stop, man. They really gonna take our video down for unnecessary content, bro. <laughs> unnecessary. I'm playing. I'm playing. Our faces are extremely necessary. <laughs> Just like this, bro. We look crazy. What are you talking about? No, we look ethnic. Bye. <laughs> So for the rest of my face, I'm gonna set it with my Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I'm um I'm using the um, Black Radiance Soft Focus. My, I've used it so much that like the label has just mm. it doesn't even exist. But this is in this is the True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder, and I don't even remember what shade this. Oh, it's right on the front. Golden Almond Finish is what it's called. And I'm just gonna go ahead and contour. I always contour with a powder. I don't like contouring with creams, it's just not my thing. So I'm just gonna use the um, contour kit from Anastasia in a uh, medium to tan in the darkest shade in the palette, which is espresso, this one right here. So I've already gone in and like contoured with the NYX palette and also added a little bit of the um, Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World to my contour. Just because the palettes, um, the NYX palette um, contouring shades are a little bit flat for me, I think. And I do want a little bit of dimension by adding some shimmer to it. I'm just lining my waterline. I forgot my, um, my cold pencil upstairs, so I'm just going to use my jumbo pencil to line my waterline. I'm going to add a little bit more of this banana powder to underneath my eyes because I too am getting ready to align my waterline and I wanted to add a little bit of that red um, eyeshadow underneath my eye like in my waterline and I want to make sure I don't get any like weird fallout from it. So I'm just going to smoke that liner out too with a pencil brush. And then um, I'm going to take uh, this color drama here 
and I'm just gonna um, smoke out my bottom lash line with that and then I'm gonna take Minx this color right here and I'm just gonna push that in the inner corner I'm following up with the um, L'Oreal carbon black extra intense liquid pencil liner for my waterline and I'm also gonna dust that over with the black eye eyeshadow in the NYX Wicked Dreams palette to set it because I do have really watery waterline <laughs> I couldn't figure out a good way to say that and I'm just using an angled uh, liner brush for that and it's from Acosta Beauty as well and it's e their E100 brush and I'm just gonna use that same brush for that color mix uh, mix I'm gonna use the tip of the, cause on this particular liquid pencil, there is a smudger on the end of it. I'm gonna use that with the NYX, um, with the NYX eyeshadow. Just the tip, yes, just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> here I was thinking she was about to offer me some advice and she over here being nasty. I was being nasty. Mm -hmm. Just the tip. Yeah. I'm gonna use my uh, my Urban Decay Perversion uh, mascara to apply some mascara to my top lashes. Oh look at you, look at you! I be trying. Oh my god, y'all just don't even understand. She used to be sitting there for like 15 minutes trying to put lashes on, <laughs> and we literally just got done at the same time. Okay, so the eye look is pretty much done for the most part. And I'm super duper impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows. If you were to purchase anything this holiday season, I would definitely purchase this. It's so amazing, especially if you're a makeup lover. It smells amazing. You have a nice array of eyeshadow shades here. Um, you can get a lot of different looks. The metallics are amazing. You don't. I didn't use them wet. Usually I use my metallic shades wet, high end, low end, whatever. I didn't use these wet at all. These came out so pigmented. So. Please go check this out. This is amazing. And it smells so good. It like smells cupcakes. amazing. Okay, next I'm gonna highlight. Um, I'm going to take my Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to use the shade, um, which one am I gonna use? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Hot Stand on um, the high points of my face so I can glow on me because we like the glow. As for me, I'm going to use the NYX Strobe of Genius. And I'm gonna follow Amber's lead and spray first, highlight second. Um, I'm going to run through my brows with a clear mascara. I just used the Great Lash. This is dirty because I already used it multiple times. But um, I'm just going to use the Great Lash clear mascara and run through my brows. Um, to make this more like holiday-ish, I'm going to do a red lip. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Melted Matte in Drop Dead Red first. And I've decided to go with kind of a nudie lip. So I'm going to do... Um, NYX uh, matte lip cream, not matte lip cream, matte lipstick in butter and put um, the Milani Amore matte in adorable on top. And I mean, if you want to make your lip pop, like obviously this looks amazing as is, but you can always take like a metallic eyeshadow and place it over your lip color. It looks bomb, bomb, straight bomb. Right, I'm gonna take a ethereal and just show you guys what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, sorry. Extra. <laughs> you are so extra. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my finished look. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end. And please, please, please go check out my friend Miranda's tutorial using the TARDIS Pro palette. I hope you guys, you know, subscribe and like our channel. Um, we also have a discount code in the bottom for the Mikasa brushes that um, you should check out as well. It's 50% off. These brushes are amazing. They're great. I um, mean, they're affordable, too. Love you guys.
Bye.